everybody welcome back to my channel it's andrea and today i have what i think is my first update for throwback 30. this is a project that was created by jessica lee as a way to participate in a bunch of fantastic ladies collab projects that you otherwise might not be able to get to it started july 28th of 2022 and it will run until july 28th of 2023 as i said there's 30 projects but obviously you're not gonna especially for the prompt based ones you're not going to pick every single prompt to do you just pick one product for that project so you can kind of partake in it and i do not have any except for the turn and burn i don't have anything rolling out this is it's not the best update considering I don't think I've updated this project at all since the intro, but I still have progress, like I do have usage on a majority of the prompts. So if I haven't used something, I'm not going to show it to you. I say it all the time. I just don't, I think that's a waste of everybody's time. So I'm not going to do it. I'm semi-organized today, so we'll see how fast I can get through this. First for 12 days of Christmas, I chose the Eight Maids of Milking verse. And I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. My goal is to use this 30 times. As you can see right here, I have used it four, including today. And actually, even with only four, and I don't think I've sharpened it, but I did wear the tip down a little bit. I'm tracking it just because I'm curious to see like how much 30 uses actually makes this go down <laughs> to see if I have any indication of if I will ever finish this in my lifetime. That's kind of promising so we're, we're gonna keep at it but I've got 26 more uses on this next next for four seasons project pan you pick a product that reminds you of one of the four seasons I picked spring I have this Too Faced love blush watercolor blush and love yourself one it's a very springy color and two there's like little bunnies and flowers all over it so I thought that's very spring I am also wearing this today you all know I hope by now when I film an update, I like to have as many of the products in that project on my face as I can for that update. So I've worn this three out of 30 times, so I've got 27 more uses on this. Then this is going to be like a no-brainer. I will definitely hit my goal on this. This is for 50 Shades of Green. I have my Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I have 23 uses on here, so I think... I think I was working on something, a different cleansing balm, and then I brought this one in, but I feel like I've used it more than 23 times, so I don't know. It's, I mean, it's a cleansing balm. It'll get used up, but that's where we're currently sitting at. I probably, if I can actually update when I'm supposed to, I don't think it'll be done next update, but I think it might be, it'll be done the update after that. Then for Fifty Shades of Pink, I have this Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. You can, there, you can hear, there's not a ton left in here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. I've got 57 uses on this. Again, I didn't start using this right when the project started. I was finishing up a different toner. I mostly use this during, at night, depending. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's a toner. I... It is not better than my Andalou Naturals one, which I absolutely love and is way cheaper. I mean, if you can find it at TJ Maxx, it's way cheaper, but it's fine. I will finish it. It will be done by next month. It, I probably have maybe like two weeks left in this and then it'll be empty. Next for Fifty Shades of Purple, I brought in one of the products that I had used in that project. This is my Lisa Frank and Glamour Dolls Bitten and Bronzed Bronzer. I just have a 30 use goal on this. Although I really hope within those 30 uses I can hit pan because I don't know. It's not really showing. Like I've been able to see the waffle grid on this for a very long time. And it would be really nice if I could have pan in it. But we'll see. So I have 30 uses, a 30 use goal on this and I've used it five times. So 25 more to go. Then for Seven Deadly Pans, I picked The Sin of Lust because I have this Danessa Myricks Twin Flames Multichrome Pigment Multichrome Pigment in the shade Lust. My goal is 30 uses, and I will... It's just absolutely gorgeous. It 
I have worn it twice out of my 30 uses, so I have 28 to go. I, I think the two times I used it, I did use it as more of like an inner corner highlight, but because of the way it is, like it's got a translucent base, so at certain angles it doesn't, it just looks weird as an inner corner highlight, like it doesn't pack the punch that I might otherwise want, so I think I'm going to, going forward, use this mainly just as a topper, but look at that color shift, like that is just beautiful, so 28 more uses to go on that. The next one is Alice in Wonder Pan. And I have the prompt Jabberwocky, a product from a brand you no longer buy from, a person you no longer support because they are evil. I no longer support Anastasia Beverly Hills, but the Jackie Ina palette is one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time. So I want to try to hit as many pans as possible. <laughs> uh, the way that the usage on this is going, I might hit just one pan this year or in this project. But the shade I'm working on right now is sponsored, which I've used it twice, like in the past three months. There's a little dip going on in there, but I need to focus on that one a little bit more. Okay, next we're going to jump down to Birthstone Beauty. And I always pick Opal because that is my birthstone. Don't come at me with that pink tourmaline or whatever. No, my birthstone is an opal. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. So I have my BH Cosmetics Opal palette, and I want to use each shade 10 times. That might have been a little, a little much, considering I've only used two of these shades one time. I've used this pink, which is positive once, and then I have this blue, which is emotional. I have this on my eyes today. This is the lighter blue, like in the inner part of my transition and crease. I've used that once. So we've got some work to do on this one. Okay, next is Child of the 80s, and I picked the prompt Wax On, Wax Off from the Karate Kid for a product that contains wax, and I have been liking to put candles in for this prompt, so I have my Opal House Sugared Cinnamon Candle. Now, I you can see I have been burning it quite a lot because now it is finally the perfect time to burn a scent like this. Oh my god, this is... This has got to be one of my favorite smells, like for fall. Just that brown sugar and cinnamon, kind of like vanilla-y smell. It's so good. I, I have a couple, like I have all my fall appropriate candles that I have out in projects. And I'll ask Maddie which one she wants me to burn. And without fail, she always picks this one. Next, drop 10 before summer, I have my e.l.f. Putty Blush in Fiji. This is what it looks like. I am also wearing this today. I actually put this on underneath my foundation because it, it's a bit of a brighter color. So just to make sure I don't overdo it, it I like to put it on underneath the foundation. I, again, have a 30-use goal, and I've used it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times already. I mean... It's been like three months, but still, that's a lot. So I really am enjoying this one. Then for food for thought, I brought a brand, like a food related item. I brought in my Beauty Bakery Bite Size Snackaroons Highlighter in Sugar Coat Everything. Here, this is a beautiful highlighter. Like I thought it might be a little too light, a little too icy, but I'm wearing it today and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Again, 30 use goal and I've used this one three times. Then we are skipping on down to I Heart the 90s, and I picked the prompt Smells Like Teen Spirit, a scented product. So I brought in another one of my little Nest mini perfumes. This is in the scent Black Tulip. My goal is to finish it. I, I should, I probably should do washi tape on here. I just haven't yet. I had a couple uses on this before I brought it into the project. I've only used it five times since the intro, so I need to try to use it at least once a week, but... We'll see. It's a, it's a very like spicy, let's see. I'm wearing it today. So <laughs> that's why I'm weirdly sniffing the inside of my elbow. Cause that's where I like to put my perfume. I don't know. It's like spicy. So it's really good for this time of the year. It just smells really good. Okay. So I've got five uses on that. Then for let's get loose. I have this loose pigment from Tammy Tanuka. <sighs> I have the like English names on my computer and I didn't write it down so I think this has something to do with pumpkins but this is dp underscore 55 underscore vn that is 
and then, you know, obviously the Russian on here, and I don't know what it is. My goal is to finish this because this is like, this is a really tiny amount. I've only used it once though, so I need, again, it's really pretty though, like, I don't know how well you can see. It's like a pe peachy orangey base, but it's got like these green and gold flakies. I, that's part of the reason I don't like reaching for these things. I just, I've discovered I don't really like super flaky shadows. So that makes me not want to reach for it very often, obviously, since I've only used it once, but I'm hoping I can like push myself to finish it just because it is a beautiful color. And I just, the flakes are kind of annoying, but that's neither here nor there. Then for lip service, I brought in my Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in jojoba and peach. My goal is to finish it. I've used it six times, so I made a little bit of a progress there. I've only used it six times mainly because I've really been trying to finish that Juvia's Place lip balm that's in my I Heart the 90s project. And also this will be like much better for my lips as we get into drier weather. So I, I don't have any worries about not finishing that. I know I will. So there's that. Then the next project is Mean Girls and I chose the prompt. That is so fetch. And that is something that is so fetch. So I picked my Clarity Cosmetics Evil Mermaid palette because it is, I mean, the packaging is awesome. The color story is just me in a palette. So I brought this in for five times, like use each shade five times. So, so far I've used Beaches Be Crazy once, Get Off My Tail once, I have used Shell Shocked once, Conspiracy twice, I don't fin sew twice, and Washed Ashore twice. And today I have Washed Ashore that's like the blue that's in the middle, and I have I don't fin sew on the outer part of my eye. This palette is gorgeous and beautiful, and I love it so much. So, still got quite a lot of use to go on it, but that's okay because I am going to enjoy every second of it. Next, for Nightmare on Panning Street, I picked the prompt The Omen 666. Use six pans in a palette six times. And I brought in probably, at this point, my oldest face palette. This is my Lorac Shine Bright face palette. This was, I want to say their holiday collection from, it was either 2017 or 2018. I'm pretty sure it was 2017. I don't know. It's old is what I'm trying to say. So obviously I have to use each shade six times. Oh my God. Ruth, you will not believe this. Look at this. Look at this craziness. I still have this, the protector on the mirror. What is wrong with me? I don't even know. Okay, now that that's taken care of. I have used this blush in Aura once. I've used this highlighter in Bold Spirit twice. I've used this blush in Blossom once, and I've used the Opalescent Highlighter once. So still got quite a ways to go on this one as well. Then for Pan as Old as Time, I pull out my Lorac Mega Pro 4 because this is my oldest, like, as of this point, this may be my oldest palette in my collection. It's either this or the Sweet Peach palette. So this was my Pan That palette last year, and I hit 13 pans, and I was like, I just want to see how many more pans I can hit, because at some point, I would like to, like, finish this palette. That, that would be amazing. I don't know that it will ever happen, but until then, I want to get as many pans in it as I can. So at first, I was working on the shade Butterscotch, which, as you can hopefully See, there you go, has pan in it. It took me 10 uses for that. I I was kind of like, oh, every update I'm gonna do, pick a new shadow, and then I hit pan in that before I would have done the August update, and then I never updated. So then I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna do Flamingo next, because as you can see, I'm pretty close to hitting pan on that one. And I have been keeping track of Flamingo, but I've also been, so I'm not counting uses on these, but the, I have expanded the pans in Dark Chocolate and Mahogany because I've been combining those two for my eyebrow powders. And then I've been using, I've actually been using Sugar Cookie quite a bit and I've used Oat a few times. But I just, 
I haven't been keeping track of the usages on those because I'm like, oh, I want to hit Panda Flamingo. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing usage tracking anymore. I, I kind of, I can go back and look because every day I do write down, I have a, a little planner and every day I write down what shades I use in my eyeshadow look. So I could go back that way and look. I just haven't. So we'll see. All of that to say, I hit pan and butterscotch and flamingo is, whoops, flamingo is going to be my next pan in this palette, I am pretty sure. I do not want to put that on top of the other ones and have have a disaster like in my paranormal pantivity intro. Then we're going to jump down to that's expensive and I pulled in my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream to finish. I've only used this five times. It's, oh my god, I have to smell it every single time I open it. It is gorgeous, but it is a little heavy for summer. Now that we're getting into fall and cooler weather, I will probably be using this more, but this is probably going to take me all year to finish because I just don't go through lotion that fast. Okay, next is the Golden Girls Project Pan. Cheesecake! Something in sweet packaging or something that smells sweet. And I have my Body Bakery Blackberry Smoothie Room and Linen Spray. My goal is to finish this. I've only used it 11 times. I may have used it once or twice more and not marked it, but it is very sweet smelling. It smells good, but I really... I give like two sprays in my office and it smells like the... Like smells good, but it smells the entire day, so... I doubt I will finish this, which is my goal, but I'm going to try. Then for This is Pantasy, I picked the prompt Cyclops, a one-eyed giant. That is a single shadow. I picked my ELC, elect, oh my god. I picked my Enchanted Luster Cosmetics Dream Prism eyeshadow. My goal is to hit pan. I've only used it one time, and that is today. It is... It's not going to take me long to hit pan. This is a very creamy, very flake. Like, I don't know if you can tell on my eyes how flaky it is. It's a beautiful shade. I, I just don't really like how flaky it is. I just don't like flaky eyeshadows that much. I mean, I'm not going to declutter it or anything. I just need to be a little bit more careful because I way overdid it. And I was just like, it looks, my eyelids look scaly. I don't know if you can tell. Do you want to see? They just kind of look a little scaly and I'm not really about that but it's a beautiful shade <laughs> so I've still got quite a ways to go on that one then for tiny pans I have this little tiny it can be used as an eyeshadow or a face highlighter I've mainly when I have been using it been using it as an inner corner highlight which is how I have it today but this is something I got from Ipsy a long time ago this is from the bomb in the shade Kuwakara Bisha and I had previously hit pan in it and then kind of like stuck it in a palette somewhere and forgot about it. So I want to finish it. I've used it eight times. Once my fantasy project is done, I will be using this every day because currently I'm using my e.l.f. baked highlighter and Moonlight Pearls for like my brow bone highlight and I use it for that every day. Once that, once that project is done, I'm going to start using this for my brow bone highlight every day. So my goal is to finish it, and I really would like to because it's just a tiny thing and it's just like taking up space. Then, um, okay, I'll do my last, my last, I'll skip turn and burn. I like to do that at the end. And the last prompt is Zodiac Project Pan. I picked Taurus, that is pastel shades of pink, pale blue, and green. So I have my Juvia's Place Eye Line Eye Define Pen Eyeliner. I've used this 17 times. Obviously, I'm just going to finish it. I obviously was working on some other liquid liner because there's no way I've only used this 17 times in three months. So there's that. Now, turn and burn. So I've been working on three, three little samples at a time, and I'm doing it rolling style. I mean, I finished two out of the three, so... First was this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I remember them smelling good. Again, I finished these first two in hopes that I was actually going to film an update in August, and then I didn't, so I don't really remember much about this. There's not, there's not enough in here for you to really form an opinion on anyway, but I finished it. 
the next one I finished, this one actually took me five uses to finish. This is the Peach and Lily Body KP Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrub. It was pretty nice. I don't know that I would repurchase. I mean, this was a free gift with purchase, obviously, but I don't think I would repurchase it, but it was nice while I used it. Then the third one that I rolled in in the intro that is still in because I just can't make myself use it apparently is this lip gloss from Copacetic Cosmetics in the shade Influence. So this middle line is where I started in this when I rolled it in. I've used it five times so I'm down to there. Like if I could just use it a little bit more actually I was just going to use on it right now. Probably get lipstick all over my teeth but whatever. That's actually not too bad over this lipstick. This is my ColourPop and Ipsy Glam Bag, whatever it's called, lipstick. No, see, you can't even tell I have it on, barely. Well, I can mark another use down in my book. Nope, not there. Okay, so I've got six uses on this now. Um, Yeah, it's still going to take me forever to finish. So then I'm going to roll in two more little samples. The first one is this Peach and Lily Pore Proof Perfecting Clay Mask. I have like five million masks in, oh, it's pink. I have like five million masks. Okay, that's a little bit of a hyperbole, but forgive me. In projects already, but I mean, this is so little. Maybe one or two uses and I'll get this done. So I'm not, I'll just do that. And then I have this Olaplex number no. three hair perfector. This, I was just looking at it course is like the tiniest writing ever but you actually use it before shampooing it's not a conditioner it's a bond builder so it won't it shouldn't interfere with like any of my other hair products that I've got going on in project pans it says to use one time a week I don't know I have a lot of hair so it's could be done before the next update. We'll see. So that is that is my progress for Throwback 30. Not the best, but not the worst either. There's a bunch of things that I haven't even started yet, but it's just because I'm I'm trying to finish other things before I start on those things. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.